thinking of what is needed or the ordering power of love to be present in the world in which we live. It's easy to see how <clears throat> the government of culture as it's been, the governing powers of culture at whatever level, whether it's national government or families, communities, now and through centuries of history, it's easy to see how it's dominated in a way that's called caused harm. We have words for that. Hierarchy, right? Or patriarchy. So, particularly in progressive circles, you hear hierarchy villainized, you hear patriarchy villainized. And then scientists tell us that, well, after all, the whole universe is based on hierarchy. So there's something about the way hierarchy has been functioning that is destructive. Today, they have other words that attempt to make hierarchy okay or attempt to present uh, hierarchy in, in a new way, presumably on a new basis. People talk about what is it, holarchy? I think I have it right. Holons. It's essentially hierarchy represented. So maybe we need a matriarchy. Get the patriarchy out of here. Get the matriarchy in and we'll all be okay. Um, do you think? Um <laughs> Well, I guess I have to ask, so what matriarchy is it? I've been in matriarchal situations that weren't altogether comfortable. I rather imagine that there could be a, an enlightened matriarchy and a not-so-enlightened ma matriar matriarchy. And by the way, what's the matriarchy going to do with the destructive patriarchy that seems to be ruling the world. Going to leave it to the matriarchy to handle all of, all of that all alone? I don't think so. I think if we frame the issue as, well, is it patriarchy or matriarchy? Or hierarchy or no hierarchy? We're asking the wrong question calling the wrong issue. The question is, patriarchy on what basis? Matriarchy on what basis? What kind of hierarchy are you talking about? Where is it centered? Is it bringing some higher reality into the human world, some kind of natural hierarchy? that functions throughout the cosmos into this world? If it is, sign me up. And by the way, I do not want to live in a lawless, orderless society or community for that matter. Do you? That's a hell on earth right there. And my experience of that is that it's subject to every little petty tyrant who comes waltzing into the, the room. If there's not an enlightened hierarchy, <laughs> we have milling around until somebody takes the matter into their own hands and inflicts their own style of justice, their own dictates, all the while claiming that they are, what, 
for the people or that what they're doing is just and right and equal. We have all the other buzzwords. So what does it take to have an enlightened hierarchy or an enlightened matriarchy for that matter? Uh, So I'm proposing to you all that that's exactly what we need. We don't need to undo the patriarchy or the matriarchy. Well, perhaps in some way, the, the matriarchy and patriarchy of the world as it is should pass away. But there's that to appear that's, that appears on an enlightened basis. So I'd like to make this distinction. As I do so, I realize I'm treading on thin ice here. I'd like to make, make this distinction. There's a difference between a patriarchy that's based on the prince and a patriarchy that's based on the king. The prince is immature, perhaps rebellious, looking for power, egoic. The king is aligned with the hierarchy of the cosmos. The king comes not for himself. The king comes to bring the ordering power of love into his world. And how about matriarchy? True matriarchy is not from the princess. The princess does not know how to bring true matriarchy. The princess is subject to vanity, envy, a scrambling for place, egoic attitudes and behavior. The queen loves her people, loves the queendom or kingdom. The queen brings a higher love. For the queen, it's not about herself. It's about selfless service. The queen knows her place. She's not struggling to be recognized or appointed. She is the queen and she knows it. What I'm saying is that there's a spiritually mature way to bring the governing power of the universe into this sphere of things. When we look out at the world, we don't see that often. Where it it is brought, it's exceptional. 